Hey everyone, and we are going to be looking at coin farming in Super Mario Odyssey. So within the game there are a lot of joys to be had, whether it's a bird dancing on your nose while you sleep, or prancing around in a Luigi costume. However, coin collecting is not one of them. It is grindy and it will take a lot of time. However, hopefully with all the options that we kind of lay out in this video, it can be done a little bit quicker or a little bit less boring. So first up, we are gonna head over to Bowser Kingdom. So hopefully you've already made it this far in the game, but if you haven't, you can check out our walkthrough playlist to see more videos to get you here. Uh, but once you've completed the game, you will find this warp tunnel. However, alternatively, you could just use the warp flags to be able to get up to the top here also. If this is your first time back in Bowser Kingdom having completed the game, or it's your first time in Bowser Kingdom in its entirety, you can head back over the top here and find a huge stack of coins hidden away in a secret room. So just ignore Lakitu and head towards the edge over here. Now jump off a little bit carefully and head back in and the three coins here are kind of incidental but you might as well pick them up anyway. However, inside this room you will find a huge stack. Now there's also a moon in here if you haven't already picked it up. However, for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna focus on picking the coins up. So dollars, dollars, dollars. Uh, there's a huge amount of coins to pick up and it kind of works out around about 245, I think, once you've picked them all up. And for a short period of time, it's not a bad haul. The problem though, is that once you get out and head back in, hoping there's some kind of trick to be able to get them back again, they do not return. And in fact, it doesn't matter what you do. You can walk to a different area, you can, uh, you can kind of do anything, travel around, come back and hope they're back again, they do not return. So that is the end of that. There's 245, one time only deal. However, this next trick is going to allow you to keep getting them. So again, back to that warp pipe, and we're just gonna take a jump over the other side. So around here, there's loads of spinies for you to avoid. So just sort of jump out of their way and you will find a little seed. So take that seed, head on back past all the spinies, kind of just bypass all of those little dudes and throw it into this pot to create a magic beanstalk. Head to the top and let it carry you all the way up. So this takes a little bit of time However, all told, this entire thing is going to be around about a minute long to pick up 180 coins. And the good news is you can keep doing it over and over again. So when you land in there, don't change your directional trigger. Just throw your hat straight out and Mario will launch your head forward. Now again, just don't touch anything to do with your directional kind of controls. Just let Mario run. And every time you come close to one of the little flowers, pick them up with Cappy. That should bring you out here and you can just walk towards the edge, pick up the moon and pick up the coins at the end. And that is 180 coins in one minute flat. And that is pretty epic. And to be able to do that over and over again, you just kind of head back over to the seed again to start the whole thing from the top. However, that can get pretty monotonous after a while and you might get a little bit bored. I want to look for a few options to do when you just sort of generally trundling around the rest of the game. So we're going to give you another option that you can do in most kingdoms. So you just you can see here we're in Lake Kingdom and we're just sort of jumping down. It's an area where we know there's a good batch of coins and we're just going to grab as many as we can in a minute. Now we're just in the same area so we're just picking up these coins here and there's a few more over here for us to pick up. So this is just an area that we know that there are a good batch of coins. So there's a little clutch up there so that is 33 in total and then there's another little stack here so there's a little block to pick up here and a multi block to pick up here. So you just kind of grab all of those and then once again kind of come over to the next one grab the heart that this throws at you and that'll give you another five coins. And so we're up to 44 now. Uh, so we're just gonna head outside and see if we can grab a few more before the minute's up. So there's another kind of batch here. So just sort of swim around and pick those up. And once you've grabbed all of those coins, that will probably be around about a minute done and dusted. And that results in 
around about 57 coins in the bag. So that's 57 coins in the bag in a minute. But the important thing is you, if you do a fast travel straight afterwards back to the same point, you can see all the coins have reset and you can do the same thing over and over again as much as you want in the same area. On the downside, it does mean staying in one location over and over again. So another alternative would be to do a bit of a longer kingdom loop. So this is essentially find a kingdom where you know where most of the items are, where you know where to find everything, and then just head on a little loop around it. And Mushroom Kingdom kind of works out pretty well for that. Now firstly, when you're collecting coins, you can pick up two coins for every one purple coin that you find. So suddenly purple coins become a little bit more valuable when you are grinding. And it's the same case for hearts because they work out as five coins. So we're just gonna head around the Mushroom Kingdom and try to grind out as many as we can. The problem with this is it does take a hell of a lot longer than the earlier options. However, you might just want to just throw this in every now and again, just for a little bit of variety and to mix things up a bit. Now the reason this works so well in the Mushroom Kingdom is because you've got areas like that where there are four or five moons all in the same place. And here is the fifth one out of these. Now because there were five coins each, uh, essentially if you get a little bit of a batch of them in the same place then it can work out a relatively efficient way to get coins. Now this is still a bit of a grind and it definitely takes a bit of time and you will need to have a good understanding of where everything is within close proximity. But you know sometimes you just want a little bit of a meander around and see what you can grab. So this is kind of a good option if you just want a bit of a schmooze around but man it can definitely get a little bit grindy fast. And in fact, everything to do with coin collecting in Super Mario turns out to be a bit of a grind. So kind of, if you, wanna, if you want our recommendation in terms of doing this fast, mainly it is just to focus on that first tip with a few of these others thrown in as you're kind of going through the rest of the levels and picking up the moons as you go. My, my general tip is you don't need to grind up to the, to the coins that you need quite so desperately. Just kind of do it a bit naturally. Throw in a bit of this activity every now and again. Make sure you head back to Bowser Kingdom for the, uh, for the kind of big haul once in a while. And you'll kind of, you'll soon get enough coins to be able to get up to like, I don't know, maybe you're after the skeleton costume, which is 9,900. 199 coins or maybe you're looking for enough coins to be able to get the toadette challenges which you will unlock once you get to the palace in uh, in mushroom kingdom so kind of this is why the mushroom kingdom is so sort of important as a part of this and uh, and you can see there's a lot of different places to grab coins and because it's a relatively small kingdom in a flat contained area, it makes it a little bit easier to grind out the coin challenges, whether or not they're up in trees or whether they're kind of over cliff edges or kind of, there's just so many different options around here to pick up coins. However, it is nowhere near as fast as the earlier options. Um, and the other kind of thing to take into account is that uh, is once you've taken all the coins here, maybe you're thinking, ah, oh, maybe that, that's it, I can't keep going around. Well, the good news is that you can keep going around and we will show you how you can keep going around in the next part of this walkthrough video. So we're just gonna grab a few more of the coins down here. So there's a few more there. There's a few more purple coins which are double up as uh, as single coins as well. So you'll see you'll pick up these, uh, these invisible purple coins and they'll work out as two normal coins as a standard. And there's a few more of those on top of this dory. So we're just gonna pick those up quickly and, uh, and once we've got those, we can head on around to show you how you reset all of these coins in an instant. So we've already shown you one way of doing that earlier on, uh, but there is an alternative way of doing that. So you could just warp to a new area, warp to one of the kind of the save points, or the alternative is you go into the Crazy Cap store and you just walk straight back out. And in doing that process, all of the coins that you previously collected will all reset. 
only, the only kind of exception that we found to that is that one huge hall that you can find in, uh, in Bowser Kingdom that we showed you a little bit earlier. So hopefully kind of just running around here gives you a good idea of where all of the coins are in the Mushroom Kingdom to help you to get a bit of a haul as you're going around but it is no kind of, it's no alternative, it's no like great alternative to the, uh, the earlier options that we showed you. So hopefully this has given you a few options for you to consider when you're doing a little bit of your own coin grinding uh, after you've completed the game. You might want to do some coin grinding as you're playing the game, but it, it kind of, it doesn't seem all that necessary to us having played the game quite a lot. It just feels like maybe once you've completed the game, there's going to be either a few challenges that you need coins for, or there's going to be some costumes that you want to unlock. So we're just going around Mushroom Kingdom and we're collecting as many coins as we can. And we've got to be honest, it has taken us a hell of a lot of time. And while we're getting around about 200 in this one pass, it kind of took around about six minutes to do it. And that is a lot of time to grind when you're looking for an extra 8,000 coins. So our biggest recommendation really is to do this grinding a little bit here and there as you're going around the rest of the kingdoms to pick up the moons. And if you can do that, then you'll probably end up getting moons and all of the unlocked items a little bit quicker. So there you can see we've managed to uh, manage to reset all the coins that we started earlier by going into the Crazy Cap store. So that is it for this walkthrough. Hopefully it'll help you to grind out the coins and kind of mix it up as you get through the game. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more of our guides, how-to videos and walkthroughs and hit that like button guys. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.